Well, today we're gonna be here at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, checking out everything that has to do with Pirates of the Caribbean, one of my favorite attractions here at the most magical place on Earth. Starting all the day right as you walk in, look at that, Caribbean Plaza, Pirates of the Caribbean, sail with the wildest crew that ever sacked the Spanish main, and that's what we're gonna be doing today, finding everything that has to do with these guys. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Let's find everything that has to do with Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, let's take a closer look. Now more or less, I do these type of episodes here in the parks. For everyone who is interested in a specific topic, whether it be the Universal Classic Monsters or Back to the Future or, like today, Pirates of the Caribbean. I hope you guys can use this as a guide so you know exactly where everything is and what all there is pertaining to that subject. Alright, heading into Adventureland now. Now, if you really want to become a pirate today, you can enlist in the A Pirate's Adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas, and you use either your magic band or your, your card, your ticket that you got in, and it told me to choose this map, and then you will go on your own pirate adventure, and different things will happen throughout Adventureland. So I'm gonna head to the first location now, show you guys exactly what happens. All right, so it told me to find this symbol, Take your pass. Oh, there. And see? Not so long ago, I was a pirate just like you be. The treasure of the Pacific. I saw it with me own two eyes. I can show you where to find it. Oh, look at that. Oh, the, the eyes. Hey, who's hiding behind that mask? Thank you kindly, you scurvy dog. You've shown me precisely where I need these seven cards. Barbosa. <laughs> now I've got to find this. Quick, you've got to That's find the treasure before he does. Next one's right here. You seek the treasure of the Pacific. Yes. I will show you where it rests. But beware, dangerous men lurk nearby. Oh, now you savages. Oh, look. Fire! Oh, Shooting at me. How could that fail? My magic has protected you this time. Look closely at my necklace. The spirits of the island are prepared right, to find give that one. you the treasure. All right, let's try this one. At last, we have found one worthy to bear the ocean's mighty power. You've found the treasure of the Pacific. Well done. Now, seeing as I could always use more proper pirates to help me find more treasures, I invite you to set course. So that was it with that map. It told me to go get another map, and that's the thing. You can continue to do this until you finish all the maps. And that's the thing. It'll show you the symbol you have to find the symbol you scan it something animated will happen it's a fun little scavenger hunt that you can do out here it is free it comes with your admission all you have to do is go and sign up inside the building that i showed you and they will give you a map there are several different maps that you follow along with and it's just something more to do in the world of pirates <laughs> Look at this. Hello, mate. Captain Jack Sparrow. It's very, it's very, what is this? What is the fuzzy going on? It's, it's, oh, it's, uh, it's called a dead cat. A dead cat. I have probably <laughs> dead <laughs> thing over here, too. Right here. It, it, it makes it not so muffled. No. Far be it for me to know anything about this modern technology right now, but you think having a fuzzy thing on top of something else would muffle it more? It, could, it would, but it, it, in theory it works. I don't know why. It just keeps the wind away and... They'll be able to hear your, your voice better. I'm, and who doesn't want to hear my voice? Exactly. Indeed. Exactly. Captain Jack, everybody. Indeed. One of the best pirates ever. I'm sorry, I think you mean the best. The best. The best pirate. Corrected. The best pirate. Now, if you want to eat like a pirate, they do have the Tortuga Tavern here. And this is what's on the menu. A veranda teriyaki burger with red onions and pineapple, or the chicken strips. 
tossed in a sweet orange soy glaze and topped with green onions. They do have a peanut butter, chocolate hazelnut spread, and banana sandwich. That sounds really good to me. And a barbecue slaw dog here as well. Now there are no plans as of yet to bring this back, but this is where the Pirates League once sat. You can join the crew here. There used to be photographs of the different options you could choose from. You checked in here and you went inside and they would get you ready to be part of the crew. You become a pirate. And it's time to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Only 40 minutes, we'll see. Does anybody remember when there used to be a bird right up there? And also it used to have the Pirates of the Caribbean logo going across from the film. Neither one exists now. See what I'm talking about? Scenes opened up for the queue. We are entering into the, the fort here. Look at that, the old explosives and the cannon. All right, we are entering into the fort officially. Still got a ways to go with the queue. As a kid, I was obsessed with these little set pieces. I always wanted to go inside and see everything. There's all these little paths through the attraction that I've always wanted to, to walk through. ourselves. Now see that was the other side where I was just filming. Now, there is a staircase to get up there. See I've always wanted to walk through that side of the set pieces because they all intertwine and connect in some form or fashion. Keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside right, here we go. And watch your children. Ahoy there crew. For your safety, remain seated. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat.
are in the, the grand gift shop of the exit dumps where all the merchandise of Pirates of the Caribbean exist. I had no clue they made a Pirates of the Caribbean battleship in the lounge fly bag here with some classic scenes from the attraction. Now this was once the Pirates League. This door actually opened right here at the windows and you could see inside as they were doing the, the Pirates League makeup and costuming. Got the official Pirates of the Caribbean swords here and the, the Mickey Mouse, the main attraction collection here. Another lounge fly Pirates bag. Ears inspired by Pirates and even Mickey. This is a limited release pen. This is actually a pretty big size pen. You can take home a, a little scene from Pirates of the Caribbean and we have some artwork here. Check out these ears. It's Mickey. A little Captain Jack Sparrow look to it. And his little ear is pierced. And you can get a traditional Pirates hat here as well. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it fits quite right, but they don't make it in my size. That's why I wear, that's why I wear trucker hats. And they also have full costumes here that you can pick up. Nothing for adults, mostly kids. And all kinds of accessories to go with your, your costumes. If you're wanting to, to be a pirate. I always wanted to be a pirate. Set here. Check it out. All of the different accessories in there, and it locks up. Look at that. You can make your own ship. Mickey and the gang are participating in the story. Look at this one. Man. I would have loved that as a kid. And Penny Press galore. You can pick up all kinds of Pirates of the Caribbean pennies here. I think you can get, yeah, you can get all of them. It's, uh, I think it's five bucks. Yeah, all of, all eight for five bucks. Or just one for a dollar. So it's a better deal to get all of them if that's what you're collecting. I remember when they did sell flags here. You could pick up the, the Pirates of the Caribbean flag. I don't think they still do. There's just so many little details in this queue as well. You see the little flags up there? It's almost a Jolly Roger flag. This is like one of the only remaining original Pirates of the Caribbean logos here. Isn't that cool? Didn't find anything Pirates inside the, the cinema store here, but I did find this Orange Bird shirt and I grabbed it. It's part of the, the vault collection. It's hard to find shirts that are this cut that fit me good. So I grabbed it. Well, we came, we saw, we took care of business here today at the Magic Kingdom, finding everything that has to do with Pirates of the Caribbean. This was a lot of fun, but I think our adventure for today has come to an end, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at the Magic Kingdom, Tell someone World of Mike has sent you, and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Drink up me hearties, yo-ho! Stay weird. Goodbye.